weekend around the city, leaving five people dead. Fox 5's Robert Moses joins us live from Harlem, where a man was shot and killed there over the weekend. Good morning, Robert. So, Shani, good morning to you. That man was shot inside of this smoke shop here in Harlem, just steps away from landmarks like the Apollo and Red Rooster and Sylvia's. And take a look at this. Police just sent us this new video of the man who police believe shot and mortally wounded the victim. In less than 42 hours in the city over the weekend, five men were fatally shot or stabbed across three boroughs. Police say last night, right before 8, a 36-year-old man, whose name police have not yet released, was shot in the head inside of a smoke shop on Lenox Avenue in Harlem. He was taken to Harlem Hospital and pronounced dead. I'm fed up with all of this. I don't understand why they can't talk things out. Why it's got to be killing each other? A little more than five and a half hours earlier in Coney Island, police say 23-year-old Christian Vargas, who lived in Brooklyn, was stabbed in the torso. Video posted on Citizen App captured the scene. He was taken to NYU Langone Hospital, Brooklyn, where he was pronounced dead. The police out here doing an investigation right now. On Saturday afternoon, video on Citizen App captured the scene of another homicide in Harlem. Police say 19-year-old Jalen Duncan, who lived in Harlem, was shot in the head near Madison Avenue and East 130. 32nd Street. He was taken to Harlem Hospital but did not survive. A little more than two hours earlier, police say 83 year old Ramon Cintron was found with stab wounds to his neck and right arm inside of an apartment in Wyckoff Gardens, a NYCHA complex in Borum Hill. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Police believe this man, Giovanni Vale, killed Cintron. Vale is also wanted for slashing a woman on Nevin Street about an hour before police say he killed Cintron. About like 5 to 5 30, he's always here. There's a scratch off. He's a great person. You know, I consider him like a grandfather. And early Saturday morning, police say 23 year old Javon Jeminson of North Lauderdale, Florida, was found on the ground on Merrick Boulevard in St. Albans, unconscious and unresponsive, with multiple gunshot wounds to his torso. He was taken to Jamaica Hospital and pronounced dead. Just last week, top NYPD brass touted a reduction in several crime categories, including murders. So far, no arrests in any of these five killings.